Good evening, everyone. And by everyone, I mean you especially. <laughs> so tonight is the seventh anniversary of this show. And because uh, we've been on the... Thanks very much, uh, audience. <laughs> no, too late. Too late. Too late. No. Knock it off. No. No, no. Forget it. Too late and a dollar. I got a Sure. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's the seventh anniversary of the show, and I was thinking, have we been doing this show seven years? Uh, yes, we have. That's why they call it an anniversary. <laughs> but what I did, I thought this would be fun, Jess. I, I thought we could uh, take a look at the very first show. Oh. Yeah. But not, not the whole thing. <laughs> it, it's a little... Uh, anyway, what we did is we... Uh, we thought, you know, people will want to see how the show's progressed over the years. So what we did is I, got, I went down to the CBS basement today. <laughs> <laughs> that is code, by the way. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. So anyway, Jeff and I were rummaging around in the basement today. <laughs> <laughs> and we found the very first show. Take, take a look at this. It's a great day for America, cheeky monkeys. Oh, hey, everybody, hey. What I do now? Well, this is a late night show. Why don't you tell the monologue jokes that are on the cue cards? Right, right, right. Uh, there are reports that Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston are splitting up. Why would, why would you leave someone like that? Those smoldering eyes, those gorgeous curves. And Jennifer's not bad either. <laughs> Jude Law has been voted Mag People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive. I nearly got it wrong there, but I pulled it back. Did oh, you see very that? Good, yeah, very yeah. Good. He's been voted uh, People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive. My guess is Jude Law will win every year. He's not like he's going to lose that gorgeous head of hair. Ah. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the stock market is up 5% today. Take it from me, Craig Ferguson. The market will continue to be a fruitful place to put your money because there's no one more trustworthy than investment bankers. <laughs> Oh, oh, good one, Craig. <laughs> well, that went okay. Yeah. Mm. What do we do now? Well, m maybe you and I could enjoy some uh, witty banter. Yes, yes, the yeah. great idea. Yeah. <laughs> Got any plans for the weekend? Yes, actually. Yeah, uh, I'm going skydiving. Skydiving? Yes, yeah, skydiving. Skydiving? Yes, yeah, skydiving. Oh. Yes, it sounds very exciting. You know, they, they fly you up in a rickety old prop plane. Yes. It's low on fuel. And, mm -hmm. and you parachute onto a very small island surrounded by shark-infested waters. <laughs> Jeff, that sounds dangerously idiotic. Oh, I'll be fine. But if anything does happen, you could always reanimate my lifeless skeleton with robot parts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Or we could just replace you with Steve Gutenberg. Oh, Craig, Steve Gutenberg is the biggest movie star in the world. His star will never fade. That's true. <laughs> well, I'm sure nothing bad will happen to you. <laughs> Except being on this show. Oh! <laughs> Do a freeze yeah, yeah. <laughs> So now Sponsored by Applebee's. This year, resolve to have it all. Come in and try Applebee's new under 550 calories menu. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson.
Very good indeed. I really enjoyed it, even though it was fake. <laughs> even though you were lying to me, I can see the hatred in your eyes. <laughs> but I don't care as long as I get what I want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like a sexy villain in a, in a Victorian melodrama. <laughs> I don't care how you feel, just as long as I get my pleasure. <laughs> now, remove your bodice. <laughs> <laughs> Do people wear bodices anymore? Well, they should. <laughs> remove your bodice and your pantaloons. <laughs> and, <laughs> oh, I know about Victorian underwear. <laughs> Bodice and your pantaloons and your uh, olden type spanks. <laughs> oh, it's a great day for America, everybody! <laughs> Today, of course, in Iowa is the first big Republican caucus. Now, I can't think of a better way to start a new year than with a big caucus. Are you with me there? Are you with me there, Jeff? Oh, yeah. Yes. I love a good caucus. I don't know how a caucus works, though. Jeff, how does a caucus work? How does a caucus work? Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you want to, do, how, many, how many minutes do you have? No. I think what happens is that someone gets uh, voted off the island and the rest of the candidates get a rose. Anyway, look. Uh... In Sc your pants. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I hope you all had a good holiday. Uh, I, uh, for the holiday period, was in uh, Scotland. Uh, I was. Uh, it's like, I, I enjoy going back to the country where I was born. It, be, it must be what it, uh, it'd be like to be Barack Obama visiting Kenya. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, lighten up is a joke. I know he's not from Kenya. <laughs> no, he's not. That's just a rumor put around by idiots. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Ooh, Victorian underwear is much safer, isn't it? You no, know, while I was in Scotland, uh, you know, the world said goodbye, of course, to one of the last of the old school dictators, Kim Jong Il. Do we have a picture of him? There you are. Last <laughs> time. Good night, angry lesbian. <laughs> We've showed that picture thousands of times. I don't know what we're going to do now. We'll have to resort to something crazy, like original material or something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the new, the new ruler of North Korea is Kim Jong-il's son, which is, uh, that's an amazing coincidence. The elections must have gone very quickly. <laughs> uh, he's called Kim Jong-un. He couldn't possibly be as funny or as comical as his father. Do we have a picture of Kim Jong-un? Wait a minute. <laughs> I stand corrected. <laughs> He's adorable. Let me see that again. Hmm. Maybe more like Kim Jong Yum. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll get a bit of mileage out of him. Thanks, Korea. Uh, North Korea. <laughs> Don't want to get them mixed up. That's even more. <laughs> anyway, it's a great day for this show, for, for us today. It's the seventh anniversary of this show. This very day. Yep. The show's age has finally reached the age of the audience's maturity level. <laughs> and the network, of course, gave me, thank you to CBS, they gave me their traditional anniversary gift of nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Not a thing. <laughs> Not even a phone call. Anyway, seven years may seem like a long time, but I have to admit, it, it is. It is a long time. But I gotta, I'm going to tell you right now, uh, 2012 is going to be very different for this show. From here on out, there's nothing but top quality entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say it! I can't even say it! Oh, man. I that's know, cool. no, I'll be the same old crap. But over the holidays, <laughs> let me tell you this over the holidays, I got a very special gift from Santa Claus. Maybe the greatest gift of all. Gist? Yes, gist. <laughs> A gist is an old Victorian undergarment. <laughs> Miss Havisham, I'd like you to remove your gist. Oh, I dare say, no, I cannot remove my gist until I am married. <laughs> remove your gist or I'll do it with your gist on. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Hey, no. 
I got a, I got a gift. I got a, I got a, a terrible gift, uh, actually. From I got shingles. Oh. <laughs> And not the kind you cover your roof with, the kind of hurt like hell. Really, I got shingles. The central nervous system infection, I got it right around here. I used to think shingles was a snack food. <laughs> you know, like, hey, kids, who wants some bacon shingles? But uh, it's very painful. I, I, it's, it's from the same virus that causes chicken pox. And I didn't get much sympathy from my Scottish relatives. They were like, oh, you look at you with your fancy Hollywood shingles, is it? Oh! Oh, shingles. Oh, no, chicken pox isn't good enough for you. No, you have to have shingles. <laughs> Give me a burning sensation all over. It was hard to even wear pants. Well, at least that's what I told the cops. I wouldn't... <laughs> I wouldn't wish it in my worst enemy. It was horrible. I had a big red scaly patch on my side there. By the way, Red Scaly Patch is a great new country song. <laughs> Red Scaly Patch. Red, sing with me, Jeff. Red Scaly, Red scaly Patch. patch. Red, Red scaly, scaly Patch. Let's have a party. Go to the bus. Red Scaly Patch. Red Scaly Patch. Red Scaly real bad. Let's have a Red Scaly Patch. <laughs> Very good. Anyway, it's better now uh, to be back in LA. I make fun of LA all the time. You know, I, I call it a dump, and it is. But after... Nah, that is a dump. But after three weeks in Scotland in the rain, you come back here to 80 degrees, and I'm like, oh, I love it here. <laughs> then I remember all the bad stuff we have to deal with here, like the earthquakes and the mudslides and the Kardashians. Hey! See what I did? Uh -huh. Yeah! The first Kardashian joke of the new year. You got a graphic for that, have we? Yeah! <laughs> Chloe Smash? That's frightening, isn't it? Anyway, the big story while I was gone in L.A. was that there was an arsonist on the loose. Uh, yesterday, they arrested the bastard. Well, alleged bastard, uh, you know. <laughs> Innocent until proven guilty, blah, 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 blah. Anyway. <laughs> but it turns out it was a German guy. And I'm like, that's strange. <laughs> Who would have thought a German would enjoy wanton destruction? <laughs> oh, come on, Craig. Is that another Hitler joke? Yes, it is. Oh, come on. It's too soon. <laughs> It was a long time ago, we were drunk, uh, you know. <laughs> it happens, oh, come on, let it go. <laughs> Too much? <laughs> I, I will set fire to your bush. <laughs> no, you mustn't. You mustn't set fire to anything in my garden. But I have to, because No, no, it was pleasure. popular in Germany. <laughs> Germany. During Victorian times, many ladies would set fire to their gists. Oh, no. Just a sea of burned pantaloons and gists. Yes. Yes. It was very popular with the decadent class. Well, is I... this really German? I don't think this is German. When I talk like this, it makes me want to kiss you. When you talk like this, it makes me want... Not that. Hey, uh, do the commercials, will you? Sure, why not? All right. Hotel accommodations provided by Big Caucus Hotel and Casino. Looking for a little late-night meeting of the members? Our staff of legislative bodies is here to service you. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the big seventh anniversary special of the show where we pulled out all the stops and nothing is different. <laughs> Later on, we'll be expecting the big surprise gift from CBS. We'll be expecting it, but it will Ooh. be here. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Oh, come on, Craig. This is just part of your shtick. No, it's not. <laughs> this is real. This is happening right now as true as my robot is a skeleton. <laughs> <sighs> If you're watching this show for the first time, I'm sorry to freak you out. Uh, uh, 
But let me just warn you that this year in 2012, if we make it all the way through... <laughs> well, you know, I'm a very strict Mayan. <laughs> we both are, aren't we, Jeff? We are very strict Mayans We're indeed. We're very strict Mayans. I often do Mayan... Ooh la la! <laughs> right, Jeff? Yes, we, you and I spend a lot of time doing Mayan... Ooh la la! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For example, only the other day I was like, oh, um, let's uh, observe some more Mayan. Ooh la la! Yeah. That's true, Craig. We went and got some turquoise stuff. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And then I had that big feathery headdress. Yeah, and then, and then we, we sacrificed a few people. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we did that, did they? Yeah, I'm looking at a few I'd like to sacrifice. Yeah. Right all right, yeah, you know what time it is, don't you, Jeff? Why, I do, Craig. Well, then, then tell the ladies and gentlemen of the population. It's tweet mail time. What better way to kick off the last year of humanity than by reading your petty, illegible scrawlings on the air? See what we got. Here's a here's a tweet from uh, this is from uh, Aaron in Sacramento, California, <laughs> the capital of the state of California is in Sacramento. That's the very town where Governor Schwarzenegger did to the state of California what he was doing to his Groggy. maid while he was married. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> true. Oh, that's a new bit for the show. I've just invented it. It's awesome. Jeff, we've got a new bit. It's called True or Not True. True or Not True. 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 <laughs> Jeff, I had shingles over the break. True or Not True. True. <laughs> Jeff, you were killed while skydiving into a small island surrounded by skeleton uh, sharks. True or not true? And that concludes our bit called True or Not True. Join us next time when you can find out the cliffhanging answer. <laughs> true or not true. And you know what? I'm pretty sure that by the end of the week we might have a graphic for true or not true. <laughs> we got to do something because Kim Jong-il's dead and that, that's taken away about 80% of our material right there. True. Actually, yes, yeah, true. <laughs> anyway, it's time for the... Uh, oh, yeah, we did that. All right, uh, here it is. Uh, dear uh, Craig and Jeff, I met this amazing girl, but I'm broke from all my student loans. What's the best free date you could suggest? Oh, a walk on the beach at sunset. Every girl likes that. And she wants a guy with a sense of humour. <laughs> <coughs> true or not true? <laughs> yeah, looks aren't important. What's important is a sense of humor and someone who's sensitive. True or not true? <laughs> That's right, Craig. No woman really wants an emotionally distant douchebag. Calling me? Are you... Are, are you calling me an emotionally distant douchebag? The man who dressed as a Mayan for you? You always keep me guessing. I zig where you zag, bitch. <laughs> Joke's a joke. I don't like that word, by the way. Let's not use that word ever again. What word is that, Craig? Tootsie Fruits. That word. Don't use that word. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got time for one more in this action-packed email thing. <laughs> uh, this is from Charlie in Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, no. This is from Admir in Moss in Norway. An email from Norway. Ooh. Ooh. Well, let me just say this to you. That means true or not true. You got that graphic for true or not true ready yet? Let's see it then. All right. Yeah, good. Man, 
man. You know, seven years in and we are still bug it. <laughs> Aren't we? Yeah. I mean, come on, you can't be this bad after seven years. It's just not possible. Or is it? In fact, is it true or not true? We'll be right back. my problem right because I'm thinking you know how we did true or not true yeah right and then they got the graphic together like and by the time they ended that little bit that segment they had a graphic true or not true right very efficient yeah. right right <laughs> well my my fear is that now people watching this will think that we scripted it <laughs> oh hell because <laughs> that graphic was so good <laughs> <laughs> My first guest uh, tonight has written a book. Ooh, swanky! She's probably had shingles as well. <laughs> it's called Shockaholic. It's in stores now. Please welcome my friend Carrie Fisher, everybody. <laughs> Later. I can't answer those later at home. No, 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 no. You won't be answering those By at all. Myself. Oh, I'm so happy that this book, Shockaholic, is doing so well in the stores. Written by you, Carrie Fisher. Right, we're done. But, so, uh... Exactly. It's good, though, isn't it? Uh, it's, it, it's like uh, the Empire Strikes Wishful Drinking. It's just sort of... That's a, kind of a good use of it's both... It's anecdotal of... memoir. Ah, oh, right. And yeah. it's... I'm sick of myself now, so I'm going to do a thing on you next. You're going to do a thing? What, write a book about me? Yes. True or not true? You could call it that. <laughs> or postcards from the Craig. Postcards from the Craig. I love it. <laughs> uh, it. It would be the story of my recovery from a seemingly uh, helpless condition of mind and body. Where do you get the shingles, by the way? Apparently what happens and is... how it, many? Are there like four shingles? Well, they call it sh well, they call it shingles like there's a bunch of them, right? Yeah, but the, to me it looks like... one shingle. Well, I don't know. I didn't count them. I was too much you missed your opportunity. Oh, yeah, I, that was the opportunity I wanted. I wanted to count my shingles. That's what I lived for. <laughs> Isn't it count, count your shingles before, what's the saying? Count your shingles before you leap is the saying. <laughs> I just, I forgot. I think it's an old song, isn't it? Count your shingles <laughs> in your leg. Yeah, I think so. No, the, I, I don't know how you get them. But Did you get them on your privates? No, no, I didn't. I no, just, you can't. You can't. I it's know very bad. I'm wondering that. Why is Who that? here is wondering if he had it on his ball sack? No, 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 oh, let me... come on. No, 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 I'm sure, I'm sure a lot of people were wondering that, but I didn't have, no, I just, I got them from the, my spine here, round to here, that's all I got. I mean, okay. sometimes when my privates are active, they get in the zoo. Wow, nice. Yes. But, um, so but you already know that, of course. Oh, God. Uh, it hung like a talk show. Yeah, there you go. Now, let, <laughs> let me ask you this. I don't want to appear rude or presumptuous, but you look like maybe there's been a lot going on uh, less going on under your clothing, weight-wise. Uh, you look like you've lost a lot of weight, I is what I'm trying to say. I lost some weight, but here's the thing. A lot of weight, and I lost a lot of I got, I got about five back at Christmas. That was my favorite present. Yeah, that's the nice. The five pounds. But you, uh, you, I mean, look at you. Yeah, I mean, what's great but is what you, you, said, he you said still I got still your rack, that, which is great. But yeah. I still don't want, I still want to get rid of them. And don't I know that the angels no. weep when a woman... Angels weep whenever a, a woman woman's... gets a breast reduction. Absolutely. I that's, quote you everywhere. That's what happens. Every time, you know, there's like crying in heaven. It's because, it's because a woman's Crikey. gets smaller. Well... Do you know that actually the implants... The in, in right now in France and England, all, all the implants oh, that were done in 1984 have been, been revoked. They have to been, yeah, take been them out. out. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what? They were called. They, they were ex they were exploding. Oh! They were exploding. Hallelujah! No, no, this is bad. They have to go back and have their Crikey. taken out and then get new ones. That... You can't say that word. Can you not? No. True oh. or not true? 
No, Drew, breasts. you can't, you can't Bre say that. Breasts. They're womanly breasts. Yeah, yeah. The, the sisters <laughs> have to leave home. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're, but, you know, I mean, you don't. Isn't that a, can you imagine? I want to be in the court for some, some of those cases. Well, you know? listen, there's a lot of money involved here because I don't know if you know this, but plastic surgery is big business in this town. No! Big business. Oh, wait, yeah. wait. How do you like my facelift? You, no, apparently I've had one. I didn't know that I did. Yeah, you look But it exactly says so on, uh, uh, you know, the internet. Oh, well, then that's it. No. No. If and it says it on the internet, no, uh, that's it's it. It's been quoted by three doctors that I definitely had one. It's not that good. <laughs> I'm pissed off, too, because it isn't that good. I mean, if I, you know, no, no, why no. didn't he do my neck if he was going to do everything else? Nothing wrong with your neck. Neck looks good. Apart from that scar uh, that goes around oh, there. Oh, right. Well, that's those, those. No, I, you, know, you, know you what don't I'm... need any plastic surgery. You're beautiful women with a great rack. I'm what the hell is wrong with you? I'm going to have reduction and then have that put in here. Well, you know what's interesting? Let me just show the folks at home. This is, how, uh, this is how big Carrie's breasts are. That's an actual human hand. Real <laughs> actual, actual hand. I, I like to wear the cover uh, my nipple. <laughs> That is, that's oh, you know what, though, what we should do then, based on what you said before? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, no. <laughs> no. I right. would have done it very delicately. No, you no, can no. trust if, me. No, but see, now, that's, that way rumors start, and then it's on the internet, no. and that means it's true. No, that, that's true, all right. Yeah. So I did have a facelift, and we're not sleeping together. No. And the, True or, or not, not true. true. <laughs> hey, uh, let's talk about your book, Shockaholic In Stores Now. Is um, yeah. um. <laughs> exactly. No, it's good though. It's it's uh, it's the uh, uh, the best thing are my captions. They sent me captions. I had a picture in it of Michael Jackson reading my book. They wanted a caption. So what would you say? I said President Truman playing golf on the island of Kahlua in 1859. <laughs> That's, one of them was the, a picture of my dad that says, the x-ray of the lower mandible of a dolphin. <laughs> Something like, there's my dad smoking pot. <laughs> but that says at Betty Davis's funeral. <laughs> <laughs> You're a naughty, naughty bad woman with a great I rack. Know. I'm amazed I like you. Get That's your head right. out of there. All right. That's how rumors right. start, and then things get on the internet. Now, well, we're I out of time, so do you want to go for the big cash prize? Oh, that's right. Uh, awkward pause or mouth organ? Awkward pause. Awkward pause. Oh, interesting choice. <laughs> No, wait, 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 no, 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 stop, stop the pause, stop the pause. <laughs> no! Oh, yeah! If you if you just joined us, Carrie Fisher was just on, and uh, she lost that little hand. We'll have to find it. And the, the other thing is, I usually when Carrie's on, I keep a little piece of candy uh, to give to her. You know, you know, because she's my friend. <laughs> but I forgot to give it to her. So now I have an extra piece of candy, and I'm thinking, hmm, this next guy who's on the show hasn't been on the show before. If he's any good, <laughs> what do you think? If he's any good, I'll give him this little piece of candy, which I haven't said the name of because I'm not allowed to. <laughs> what on earth could it be in this orange square? <laughs> My next guest, who may or may not get an orange square of candy, is an actor who stars in Criminal Minds on Wednesdays on the great CBS network. Take a look at this. Looks like somebody's on their way to a piece of candy. Please welcome Matthew Gregor.
everybody. Hi. Are you good? I, I'm good. I, I, I'm really nervous. I've, I've never been on a talk show, and my zipper broke backstage. Oh. And I want to call attention to it so in case it, like, in case it's seen on the air and it doesn't look too awkward. But it's like it literally. It's not that it's, it won't. It went up, but now it's separated, and it's so like. It's like my worst, my, my worst me, nightmare let me, ever. Let me take a yeah. look at that. I'm, I'm it's, you can see my Victorian pantaloons in hey, there. Hey, I, hey, think. Hey, I know. Hey, yeah. hey, there you go, sir. Oh my gosh. A miscellaneous yeah, yeah. orange candy. Thank you, you sir. Thank you. You know how to win the candy on this show, young fellow. <laughs> That was very thoughtful. Ah, Thanks. How are you? I love your I'm, outfit. You oh, got, thank you, you. You got cords there. Thanks. It's a cord jacket and a, it's like a cord suit. I feel like Teddy Ruxpin or something. And I have a sweating disorder. You have a sweating disorder? And then I thought as I got here, like, why am I wearing corduroy and wool and a lot of Well, it's cold things. here. It's oh, cold. It is. And, you know, that'll absorb your sweat. And, of course, there's also the danger of shingles. I don't want to get those. And I shook your hand very hard. You can't yeah. get it from that. Apparently, good. you have to rub the infected area with your genitals. Oh, good. Hopefully, we'll, we'll find out later if, that, if I get that. You want to give me another piece of candy? just in case. <laughs> no, I, have you ever had uh, shingles? I've never had I, shingles. I can't imagine you no. would have. You're too young. I've had me. weird other things like shingles, but Legionnaire's disease. Well, bitten disease. by a radioactive I'm, spider? Were you no, ever done? never, yeah. never. Legionnaire's disease? I didn't really have that. No, oh, but okay. I did. <laughs> I had um, a weird thing called achalasia. Achalasia? Where, I've been there. You've had that? You've had that? <laughs> Malaysia, it's uh, it's out, uh, out in the valley somewhere. It is, right? Right? Yeah. yeah, you get they must, they must have the amazing stir fries out there. Yeah. The best stir fry yeah. in the city for sure. Yeah. What is the Ecclesia then? It's like a weird thing where your throat won't open, and so for like <laughs> twenty. Yeah, oh, wow. Like that. For 26 days, I couldn't swallow anything but licking. I had to lick butter to sort of stay alive until they could do the. Jeff, the I think this is all yours, really, buddy. Hi, Jeff. Um, can I get your phone number? <laughs> yeah. Congratulations on the marriage. I'm from Las Vegas, and I saw that you Oh, guys yeah, got Jeff and I got married when we were in Las Vegas. It was a marriage of convenience, though. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever, or are you now, uh, a member of the Communist Party? I am, yes. Uh, no, uh, no, no, have I'm you ever not. been married? I've never been married, no. Well, uh, what age are you? Uh, 47, just oh, turned well, 47. Well, I'm, I'm well, you might, might want to yeah. start thinking about it then. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll no, look don't, don't you want to have children? I do, absolutely. I love right. children. Yeah, right, good, good, good. <laughs> So whereabouts in Vegas are you from then? I, I only know Vegas. I don't know any parts of it. Do you know the stratosphere? Or, I've, I've heard of it. Yeah, no, I, I grew up right near the stratosphere. I'm like really? old, sort of about a half mile from the stratosphere. Stratosf right by. Stratosphere yeah. is kind of a, a, a good, uh, interesting neighborhood. It is. It's, yeah, it's a very kind way to put it. Yeah. yeah. Were you uh, involved in the crack business? I was, yeah. yeah. That's sort of how I, yeah, exactly. I, yeah. <laughs> You know, uh, you know. Uh, I'm so nervous. No man. I don't know what it is. Man, don't be nervous. Right, You're right. just cool. I got a zipper. I got no, Victorian right. pantaloons sticking out. I don't know what's going on. Look, look. Don't you don't want to draw attention to it? Thank you. Oh, thank Put you. this where your zipper thank is. Thank you. Thank you. And then, there you be. Thanks. I feel much better. Oh, thank you. Thanks. You want? Yeah. Uh, you, uh, well, is that a problem for you, there, Junior? <laughs> Nah, it's all right. I'm sorry. Uh, Listen, I got this photograph on my desk here. Someone gave it to me because uh, apparently you're a fan of Carrie Fisher, and this is from your Tweety account. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're, you're on the Tweety, eh? I am. You too. I yeah, yeah. You. yeah, yeah. Uh, what's your Tweety handle? I'll follow you. It's uh, Goobler Nation. Goobler Nation. <laughs> oh, that's modest. <laughs> Not bad for a crack, a crack dealer yeah, from Vegas. Yeah, a crack dealer yeah. from Vegas who ends up with his own nation. <laughs> Achalasia. Achalasia. You are the <laughs> prince of Achalasia. Is that the only disease you've had then? Be honest. I've had a lot of weird things, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. knee injuries, strange that's swallowing not, no, diseases. That, that, that. What disease? Uh, the swallowing oh, disease. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, Achalasia yeah. is. Yeah, that's about it, luckily. Yeah. <laughs> he knows about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, what was that thing we did with the hand, with the dance? What was that again? I forget. Well, any time that someone in the audience said the name of this city, yeah. we did a very gay dance. Can I, can I see it? Can I hear it? Can I learn it? Well, you would have to say the name of this city, and then we would do it. This city? Yeah. As in Los Angeles? <laughs> I couldn't help but noticing your zipper was open there, oh, man. <laughs> so, uh, so, but you live in L.A. now, right? You don't live in I Vegas do, anymore. I, sir, I live in Nevada, but I work in L.A. Oh, so, really? You yeah. still live I in do, Nevada? Yeah, oh, yeah, good for you. Right by Lovett's Custard, which I know you guys... Oh, you I love the Lovett's Custard. You had a hallucinogenic custard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's, that's the carrot top special, a little bit of mescaline yeah. in it. But the, uh... <laughs>
I had some just before the show today, actually. Well, that's it's always a good idea to be very high when yes. you do this show. Yes. And it's, you know, because who knows, you might start sweating. Your, my, your, zipper might break. Your zipper yeah. might break. <laughs> Hey, uh, so the Love It's Custard, though. Yes. Do you know what I'm always amazed at? What? Well, Love It's Custard, because you agree with me, right? It's good custard? Tremendous custard. Unbelievable Fantastic. thing, right? Fantastic, yes. Un Like, it's yeah. like ice cream, but better. But better. Right. Yes. So this Love It's Custard, there's only one place you can get it, right there. Mm -hmm. then wouldn't this go crazy if somebody would, like, around the country, let's go to the Love It's Custard, like a Starbucks, but without the Crikey. jazz CD? <laughs> what about that? I like that idea. Yeah. I think I think people would go crazy for this. I people agree. would love this. I agree. I'm gonna try and make this happen and then I'm getting out of this. How dump. did you find out? No one knows I mean, how did you it's a very like we only locals I thought know about. I how did you even learn about lust okay, gotcha. Carrot says it all. Actually, Jeff took me down there. I, I I didn't know about it. I went there, you know, you roll into town with your gay robot skeleton, things happen. <laughs> My first job as an eight-year-old was picking up cigarette butts in the Lovitz uh, parking lot. That's not actually yeah. a job. No. <laughs> the guy said he'd pay me, though. Right, I, yeah, right, he never right. paid me, but no, it, it truly was. Really? You, yeah. That you had a job when you were eight? My parents were like a real a, person. Crazy. They, yeah. they had a very strong work ethic built into me from a young age. Yeah, eight, eight's pretty strong. You know, I mean, yeah. that's almost like a Victorian work yeah, ethic. Victorian really, pantaloon yeah. work. Yeah. Ethic. Oh, hey, yeah. do you wear Victorian Wanna underwear? Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, no, no, no. Right, we're out of time here, uh, Mr. Goobler Nation. What's uh, about, uh, what about, uh, how do you want to do this? Do you want to do an uh, awkward pause? Do you want to do the mouth organ? Or you want to go for the big cash prize? I think the awkward pause. Really, two awkward That's pauses in one night. That's, or would you uh, want, do you want to switch it? Whatever you want. What do you want to switch it up? No, I don't, I don't want to influence your decision. But if you go for a big cash prize, I'll invite you back. Big cash prize. Okay, I'll Big cash that. prize. I like this. No, I, look, I don't want to be wrong. Because I, no. I, I, I really, I think you're great. I gave you uh, the piece of candy. And... Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't, you don't have to go for the big cash prize. I, would, I, I want to. No, that's what I want to do originally, and now you, yeah, absolutely. Ca cash, cash prize. Cash hope, I, I See, was, you know, I, here, we have more guests like this, you'd have a crikey. Show. <laughs> this, is, this is the kind of guest you want. Oh, thank, thank you, thank you. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. A nice young man that had a job when he was eight. <laughs> and comes out here with a zipper undone. That's what we're after. What time is it, Shadow Steven? Time for the big cash. All right, all right, there we go. Okay, here we go. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Please answer the following question. Within five years, how old was Cleopatra when she became the Queen of Egypt? Sorry. What, say say the, the last part again. How? Sorry. I just, Within five yeah. years, how old, how old was Cleopatra? When she became, <laughs> I'm enjoying myself now. Yeah. When she became the queen of Egypt, I think, I think she was uh, 22. You just scraped in. She was 17. You went 50. Oh! If you're going to be in the L.A. area and would like to attend a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059. It's T.P. and the Ferg's epilogue. <laughs> There's one thing we gotta get, G.P. What's that, pal? Victorian undergarments. <laughs> I know where we can find him. Where? Echolasia. <laughs> <laughs>